And I always smile because yeah, the smartest mobility is already in your shed and it's the bicycle. And it was invented 200 years ago, but it doesn't become better than that. Mobility, it is part of our basic needs. The continuous growth of the population and ongoing urbanization brings numerous challenges. Environment, congestion, health and safety are amongst our concerns. In En Route to Success, we follow mobility experts on their development journeys. The first episode, Smart Mobility in Amsterdam, looks into a city that has more bicycles than people. With a growing 800,000 inhabitants, it aims to become the number one smart mobility city of the world. But advancements do not come without challenges. How is Amsterdam mapping out its route to success? If I would describe Amsterdam as a friend of mine, it would be a cozy friend, a funny friend, and I think also sometimes a crazy friend. This friend is also very unique because he's there for everybody and not only for the smartest people. So that's, the, that's why he's a wise person as well. So maybe he's a bit old, but funny and crazy. And he's standing uh, and dancing at the table sometimes. Yeah. So how do we create a livable city? We have 250,000 uh, parking spots. Uh, the coming years, we will remove 10,000 of them in the inner city to create extra space. Another great challenge I think we have is that we have more bicycles than citizens. So we have a parking problem for bicycles in Amsterdam. Well, first of all, the bicycle mayors have the vision to, to together with, with, with the population, I would say, to save the planet with cycling. Our slogan is 50% uh, of all trips by bicycle before 2030. Which sounds like a moonshot, but if you think of the fact that the 50% of the trips uh, throughout the world are below 5 kilometers and now done by car, it's, it's uh, actually feasible. The people from, from Amsterdam are a bit anarchistic. And I think the symbol for that, of course, is the bicycle. And cycling through the city is freedom. Don't touch the bicycle. I know that some people think uh, as the bicycles as a problem, but if I talk to other bicycle mayors or mayors, they refer to Amsterdam as the bicycle heaven, which is a compliment and, uh, and we like it that way and we don't want to change it. But at the same time, sometimes they have more opportunities to redesign the city and start with, I would say, fresh, fresh sheet than, than we have. Eh? And, um, and they learn from uh, countries like the Netherlands and cities like Amsterdam or Copenhagen and then apply it to the city with, with, with the knowledge we have now. But what we can learn from cities like uh, Copenhagen is they give a lot of smart incentives for sustainable behavior. As a cyclist, you really want to attach your bike to a rack. So you need to create and facilitate the amount of racks. And at the moment, they're still very much uh, yeah, under construction because we need more racks than we have now. Are the challenges in Amsterdam um, uh, solvable in 2030? Well, I think they are definitely solvable because um, at the moment, you, when, I, when I speak with the city council, there's an emphasis on, uh, on actually bicycle facilities. We built more parking lots also for uh, bicycles. We reduced the uh, amount of time that you can park your bicycle in a crowdy area. We stimulate people to have one bike. We learned a lot from the corona crisis. That the behavior of people has really changed. They work from home and travel a lot less. If you, you walk through the city and 61% walks and cycle through Amsterdam, then you can experience right now that you can play on the streets. So it is possible. It's not an ideal situation, but there are a lot of learnings. Many people ask me, uh, and uh, they ask me about the technical parts of smart mobility because it's mostly associated with new technical uh, innovations and I always smile because uh, I think uh, yeah, the smartest mobility is already in your shed and it's the bicycle. And it was invented 200 years ago but it doesn't become better than that. In 10 years time cycling in Amsterdam and to Amsterdam will be very relaxed.